How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Stormlight tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build your own starting plane in Stormworks. And uh, yeah, it's going to be in multiple parts. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. Okay, so I am in the airstrip island here. And this has a smaller size hangar, but it's perfect for planes and stuff, uh, which is awesome. And I'm just going to come in the workbench and start building the fuselage. I have mirror mode engaged here, so everything is mirrored, obviously. And I'm going to start off with the pilot seat, like in my helicopters. Uh, pilot seat's nice and cool, and it gives me a nice uh, where I want to build the fuselage. So I'm just going to start off with the nose. The nose is pretty simple. I'm not going to be doing the engine in the front. I'm actually going to be doing it in the back. I feel like it's um, a lot simpler to do it a uh, push prop system uh, instead of trying to fit an engine in the front with all the pipes and stuff so you have a lot of room back here uh, in a plane so that's fine and I'm gonna just bring this out with some pointier wedges just a couple blocks and then actually do it like that it's a nice shape and then we'll extend it out by one more like that and then come in with the corner pieces it's sort of a stubbier nose actually scratch that I'm gonna come in with the wedges early on so I don't want it too stubby doesn't really matter about the looks but I can't help myself with this so yeah it looks more like a small boat but yeah we'll fix it in a minute and it will look like a plane so yeah just building that up and then I'll actually delete the seat now because I have sort of a basis which is cool and I'll just come in with some more wedges so I don't want it to be flat on the top it wouldn't look like a nose very much so we'll do that. It's pretty high, so I might just take this whole bottom section off. Just, just trial and error, get in the shape. You're probably not going to get it first time. So boom. And then we'll get the window piece in. Right there. And a nice angle window. Boom. And it might be a bit small on the inside. So I'm just going to add this effect where if you don't line it up properly, you can make it seem like um, it's wider and you get a nice kind of shape to it. And using that technique was basically how everyone made planes. Um, back before these cool wedges which 
Actually, I might do that. Yeah, there we go. And we can shave off some of the inside. up and this forward like this yeah so that's the that's the nose of our plane it's only small but this is like a A to B transport um, type of plane make this a bit shorter so yeah Get some more windows in there. Can't hurt. Cool. And we'll add a nice little roof. Okay, it's starting to look like a plane now. Now, most planes would actually have a curve like this, a gradient for the tail. And the way you do that, it's pretty simple. You just get a larger pyramid and have it go into a smaller one like this. And as you can see, it makes a pretty flat a long gradient and then a sharper one and put those together gives you a, a not sharp rounded tail so I'm just gonna build this up a bit and actually get rid of this make it even flatter because this is not going to have its tail um, in the middle, in the center. Which might be actually easier to make, like I said earlier. So if you're building your first plane, then there you go. Try this. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that but end like that for now. <laughs> Just fill in this. Okay. Alright. And now I think we're gonna do the wings, so of wings in Stormworks, you can actually make them out of blocks. You don't have to use these wing pieces here, and you could, but you know, you might want a different shape or a specific shape, which they don't offer. So we can use we can use uh, just regular blocks. So I think I'm going to do that. And the way I like to do it is use wedges for the front and then fill it with blocks. So we have wedges. I do if I'm gonna make it super thick. Just like that. And we'll have it out a bit further and 
That looks pretty stupid, so <laughs> I'm gonna shave it back with a wedge. There we go, we've got some wings. And I'll show you how to do all the control surfaces and everything um, in a minute. But I'm going to bring out this like that. And this will be end up being our tail. So I'll actually make the wings thicker because that would work. Brilliant. And then we can have that like that. So this will just be a small beam. Nothing crazy. And it looks far enough. I might actually make it less wide. Just trial and error. There we go. Looks pretty decent. And there we are, and just finish this off by making it all one tail, like that, a bit further actually. It's using wedges and corners. You can do a lot actually with these. And we'll have two tails uh, for the rudder. I think that looks quite good. So now we can just come in here, finish this off. I might make it a bit sharper, so just using that trick. There we go. That is a cool little plane. And our propeller could go here, or it could go on the top, but it doesn't really matter. On the front, even. Yeah, we have a lot of room inside for passengers and stuff for our pilot seat, and this is probably where the engine is going to go actually. Let's just make sure that we can. Oh. Uh. Bugger. Oh, that's a problem. Propellers are a lot bigger than I thought. Jeez. We'll, we'll work around that in a minute. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be the fuselage. And, uh, yeah, let's go into the engine now. Alright, engine time. So I'm just going to be using a small engine, the one you get right at the start. You could use an in aircraft engine or medium engine, as it's called. And that has a lot more power, but uses uses more fuel, so try to fire there. And we'll just put this in kind of low. Uh, that'll do. And the thing with planes is that a tail heavy plane is a doomed plane because this is going to tilt up all the time. And so you want a nose heavy plane optimally. So I'm putting a lever room for weight blocks in the front because you want your center of mass to be um, past this point on the wing. Just keep that in mind when you're building. Uh, but yeah, so let's just do the basic engine building procedure here. Just use a normal radiator. We're not going to be driving this engine too hard. So, yeah. and we'll put 
we'll just straight pipe this out the side. Yeah. That's annoying. This is the thing with small builds. But there's always a solution somewhere. I want to use a port, you could use an exhaust, but it's up to you. And air's pretty easy as well. We'll just do that out the side as well. So it could be anywhere really, but there you go. And then fuel. We'll use tanks for this, we won't use a custom fuel tank. Uh, this is the medium ones. I think these are the biggest ones you get at the start, so we'll just use them. A couple um, dotted around. I'll we'll just use two, that's fine. And diesel fuel is what we're going to be using, so no need to change any of the um, variables on the fuel tanks. If you don't know how to build an engine, I do have a tutorial uh, exclusively on that, where to use the, this engine. Um, they, they are all the same, but they're just bigger, so there you go. And we'll just link the power, lines up nicely with the whole frog propeller. Which, we had a problem where it wouldn't, it wouldn't fit. So aircraft propeller. Yeah, we have to chop away this, but I found out that it works that way, so we're just going to have to make it a bit wider. For that, I'm going to use the merge tool, or the movement tool, whatever. I forget what it's called, selection grid. And I'm going to take half of, I'm going to select half of the tail past here move it up one, paste it and then come over here, cut and paste. And then these are separate entities now so you're just going to have to use the merge tool to uh, put it in there and just fill in that. I think we have to select neutral. Yeah, we'll have it neutral, I think, and three blades. Cool. And that is our engine propeller system. That should work now. We have diesel, we have air, we have fuel, we have exhaust and coolant. So, yeah. And I'm just going to put in the weight blocks because it's probably going to be too heavy at the back. Okay, that is the engine.